your throat closes up, and your chest hurts. Have you ever felt this way? Because if you have, you are feeling symptoms of anxiety. And let's face it, many of us can skirt through life without ever really having to worry about it. But some of us, like myself, do need to worry about it because we get swept up in a whirlwind of, of this feeling. My name is Charlotte and I am from Colorful Teaching for you. I've been through anxiety. I understand it and I continue to work on it every day of my life. When I was um, 12, I was diagnosed with IBS. If you don't know what that is, it's, it's called irritable bowel syndrome. And some people definitely have it, but for me, I went in because I had debilitating tummy pains. And when they found out that I had stomach pains, instead of sending me to a counselor, what I was sent to was a doctor who um, diagnosed me with that and prescribed every medication you could think of and every diet you could think of. And so I was on this regimen for a number of years until I became an adult. And the reason we're talking about it is because at one point they decided, whoops, we don't know what's wrong with her. So they had to stop treating me and I decided I was going to go get help. And when I did, I started to feel better. But I realized I never really dealt with the uh, term anxiety. And so it was always kind of creeping back and coming to bite me. So I decided to do a lot of research. And over time, I figured out a way that I could manage it. Now, it's not that it's going to go away, but I now know how to manage it. So let's walk through these steps together. One of the things that I did was I um, learned to name the solution, the, the problem. So the problem was I was feeling anxious. So I said in that moment, wait, these are the symptoms and it's because I'm feeling a form of anxiety. And then I said, well, if I'm feeling anxious, why am I feeling this way? Is it because I'm overwhelmed? Is it because I'm feeling like I can't do something? I'm incapable of doing something. I'm worried about failure. Maybe somebody's sick or um, is passing away or has passed away. And I'm just in this well that where I can't get out of. So then I take a deep breath and I say, well, okay, this is what I'm feeling. This is why I'm feeling it. The next thing to do is put it on a piece of paper. So get that pen or pencil and write it down. Now, of course, if you don't have access to a pen or pencil, at that point, you might want to use your phone to record it. Now, if you're driving, please park to the side of the road, you know, be safe and record yourself or text message yourself or put it into like a little mini post-it note that they have as an app. But make sure that you actually write down why you're feeling anxious and then this is an important part. Write down one to two things that you can do to gain momentum to tackle the problem. And the reason I want you to do that right away is because as soon as you write it down, it becomes real. And then as soon as it's there on paper, you have no choice, I hope, but to get moving. Move in a direction that's going to help you because this is what's going to help you gain that confidence to work on whatever it is that you need to work on. Now, you may think, oh, wait, wait, Charlotte, I don't feel like I can do this. But I can tell you right now that you can because you are here on this earth for a reason. You are given the problems that you alone can handle. I'm not sorry, when I say alone, I don't mean you need to deal with it on your own, but I'm saying you are the person that can handle this problem. You may not think you are capable of it right now, but you fully are given the gifts that to be able to do it. You are surrounded by people that can help you. So if you need to call someone to get help, do it. If you need to call a friend, a, a counselor, do it. If you don't have anybody in your corner, please feel free to message me. But make sure that you work on getting rid of that problem by actually tackling it, okay? This is what's going to help you build your confidence. This is what's going to help you move past the anxiety. And the reason I'm asking you to also work on the solution is because every time, a lot of the times actually, that we 
get this feeling of anxiety, what we try to do is push it down. The thing that we ask ourselves are, is, how do we get rid of this anxiety? But every time you want to get rid of the anxiety, you're just pushing it to the shadow. And when you least expect it, it's going to come and bite you. And that's not what we want. We want to be able to move past it. Now, even though you think, oh, I don't know if I'm capable of it right now. I don't even have the ability to do it. Yes, you do. You may not have the ability right now, but you have it inside of you. You are fully capable of getting help. You are fully capable of acquiring the knowledge that you need to get support. So please make sure you get the support you need. Go to the library if that's what you need to do. Go talk to a friend, go to a counselor. Whatever you need to do, do it. Now, let's recap again. What are we what did we talk about? What we talked about was making sure you name the 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 um the feeling, anxiety. Let us know why you're feeling that way. What is the problem? Take a deep breath. I know I didn't mention it, but oh my gosh, so important to take a nice deep belly breath. And we'll talk more about it in another video. But for right now, take a deep belly breath and really soak in why you're feeling because it's okay to feel it. Really is. How you handle it is what's not okay. If you go and you um, scream about it, that may not be the best solution. But if you write it down, make it real, and then actually take steps to work on it, my friend, you are in the zone. You in that moment are taking the power back from anxiety. You're saying, whoop, I've got it. I can do this. The power is mine. Gain that confidence, my friend. You can do this. So if you are saying, well, okay, thank you so much for all this information, but I don't know what to do with it. Guess what? In uh, about a week, maybe next week, perhaps, or even by the end of this week, I'm going to come out with a freebie for you that actually talks about self-love and can be worked um, on with this. It, the strategies are fully applicable to this. If you're on my newsletter, great, you'll find out about it. You'll be the first to find out about it. But if you're not, um, don't worry about that. Just go on to colorfulteachingforyou.com. Now, colorful does have a U in it. So, you do need to type that in and at the very top there's a there's a bar that says freebies on it and it will be put in there and for now you also have a bunch of reflective guides in there now if you're um, if you don't really need it if that's not what you want make sure you just get a piece of paper and just work on that okay um, I think that's what I wanted to tell you for now and in the meantime know that you are capable know that you are loved and please create experience and teach from the heart. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.